So 940. Um, leaving Cracker Barrel. If the bubble wasn't here, um, it might be a lot more enjoyable. But it's just so busy. Like it was gonna be a three-hour wait for shower. Um, laundry even longer. So wasn't able to do that. Uh, there's a lake coming up, 27 miles or 26. I think that's where I'm gonna try and camp. So maybe shower in there. Seven fifteen during the day. The sun's over there, and then the moon it's over there. Slept pretty good, but there's elk crying, maybe talking. I just heard one. Um, but then earlier that day, I also saw a two there in the forest. somehow um, managed to get a ride in like a nice house so there's a girl called Magma uh, I've never met her before and I just asked stay in here and then she said no but like I have a friend whose parents are renting an Airbnb so I was able to get a ride with them and then there's uh, so there's three other hikers and then four including me um, super nice parents took, cooked us an excellent dinner excellent breakfast had a lot of bacon lots of uh, coffee so I'm feeling good um, yeah I thought I was gonna have to sleep in that parking lot or the outhouse so feeling clean but I weighed my backpack it's 41 pounds with four days of food, <laughs> two liters of water. Crazy, I hate it so much. So it's 655, um, but like 200 feet from my camp. Um, yeah, there's already like half the amount of people on trail because um, trail days is coming up in like two days down Cascade Lock. So a lot of people are going down there. So that little pond slash lake 
doesn't have a name. Um, but I'm pretty much at the second hill since the last town. Um, it's one o'clock, I had lunch and stuff. But I definitely like the lakes here better um, in Washington because you can actually swim in them. Like it's really nice temperature. Like that mirror lake um, before I came into town. That was like awesome, beautiful feeling because like the water was already warm, but then when the sun was coming down, it like made it feel like hot, like a heated pool almost. That was just amazing. Um, super nice. I wish I could go back, uh, but I don't. I want to get home. So day 113, I think. Um, I slept pretty good. I'm about 35 miles out from Stevens Pass. Uh, yeah, I haven't been getting good sleeps lately. I just keep moving around and I don't know. I think it's the mat. It's pretty worn down. It's the same one from the beginning, but last night was good. There's like white noise from the water. But <clears throat> I noticed I have a rip in my shorts, like right on the butt, right in the middle. That's unfortunate. I don't have any sewing kit or I'm pretty much out on duct tape. So I'll just, no one can be behind me. That's sad. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into town tomorrow. Trap Lake, um, 22 miles or something. <clears throat> oh, God. These up and downs are like, uh, I understand why I can do, why no one could do 25-ish miles in the Sierras. Because it's just so much energy put into it. Because you go up forever and then you go down forever and then you do it over and over again and that's what this next section is all the way to Canada lots over there I'm gonna try and find a hitch it's a bit intimidating because it's the first time by myself so we'll see how it turns out um, KOA is still on my list of where I'm trying to go and yeah hitch time <laughs> tried to get ice cream. Um, I was in line and I started feeling dizzy and I almost like I had to throw up. It was kind of like just came out of nowhere and then it got bad pretty quick. 
and I ended up fainting. So, yeah, like I like blocked out, um, fell to the floor, and then I woke up and there's like people surrounding me. And yeah, uh, there's this nice guy with his mom and sisters, family and stuff. And they sat me down and just talked to me and figured out what's going on. But that's never happened. Like I've never fainted <laughs> in public like that. Like I have that kind of like dizzy feeling and it's like lack of iron or whatever they say. Um, but yeah, that was something. So I might have to zero, give my body a rest. Um, Cause it's hot out and I have been pushing myself with these miles 